a new file um, and just be the default and then you're gonna open the play open in place your selected images and uh, mind you you have to select an image that's gonna work right uh, so uh, I might have to look at what you're planning to do because you have to have an area in the bottom here that you can make look like a photo so if it's too close to the ground then you can't create that illusion okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to duplicate this layer and then just turn off the layer on the top we're gonna work in the bottom first so you're gonna take your rectangular marquee tool you're gonna create an area just about like you can imagine what you what, what you're trying to make it look like then um, you're gonna go transform selection which and then I, I don't know what computer you're using but in my case you you have to hold the edges see how you can b bring this in like this and then in my case I'm using the command key uh, you might have to use uh, on the Chromebook it might be different it's control or all right see see I'm positioning it to, to make it look like a, 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 a photo that's uh, um, <coughs> laying flat or somewhat flat in our perspective. It's called a perspective. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is that selection. I'm going to layer, raster mask, reveal selection. So that's what uh, I'm working with, right? Then I'm going to take a, um, I'm going to create a new layer and put it above the background and then I'm gonna create a gradient okay uh, with the gradient you can choose uh, maybe I'll choose a little, a little more on the reddish oops don't want to do that this okay and then that you know that's okay then um, with the layer selected, okay, I don't know why it moved on me. Um, I'm going to do the gradient. So I just created the gradient in the background instead of a blue, I mean white. One of the reasons also is I can on this, and then I'm going to select that mask area, um, then go layer, style, stroke, to make it look like uh, the white photo, right? Um, so that's halfway done because what you need to do now is I don't know why I did switch there now I'm gonna mask this area um, reveal only the top part of the dog so if I look at the line um, so I actually only need to show him around this area now you can create a guide if you want um, problem is you can't just uh, a horizontal guy let's say 300 I don't know what's gonna put it but you don't really need to do that is right it, but you can just eyeball it too it's about to ri around right here so I'm gonna turn on this what I can do is I can turn the opacity so I know where I can um, so like so really you don't need to see the bottom of about like right here go back to this area I'm just gonna I'm gonna create a layer mask and I'm gonna, gonna hide that selection so you see in in masking it's whatever is white is revealed right whatever is black is concealed those, those, are, those are the two rules in masking that you're gonna have to you know, so white reveals black conceals so now I want to paint black on this outside so with the mask selected I'm gonna take my paintbrush and this is really cool because I didn't realize you could do this now I'm erasing this right um, now let's say I made a mistake and I go oops I erased part of him so I'm gonna switch uh, switch this see this thing right here see it's on black you click on it it becomes white so I paint him back Right, I just paint back what I need to paint back. 
then you switch it to black again and then you start painting away you can then also it's a matter of uh, changing the brush size so now I know I have to just delete a bunch so I increase my brush size like this I'm going to be close and then you can also enlarge your view and then change your brush size to smaller Too small. Okay, you see I made a mistake there, right? I need to clean that up some more. So essentially, that's all we, you know, that's all we're after now. It's just uh, erasing what we don't need, and then so we essentially choosing what we need to show and hiding what we want to hide. So a lot of it, this stuff is just clean up. You can't do your magic one because it's not, um, you know, you can try different selection tools. You can actually try the um, uh, uh, auto selection. There's many, you know, but the nature, it depends on the nature of your images. Sometimes the auto selection tool requires more. Yeah. Okay, so essentially I'm painting as, if you look at my, uh, this mask, it's painting m more black to that area. Okay, so uh, then another thing, let's say I'm done with that. I'm just gonna show you another thing you can do. On here, you're gonna do a layer style drop shadow. Actually, well, first I'm gonna go edit. I'm gonna warp it first. You know, to give the, I hope the, <coughs> it was giving me problems earlier. I don't want to do it. <coughs> um, I just create the shadow um, layer, drop shadow. See how they put that shadow in the side, but it, you want it a little bit more below. Like that, and then spread it out some distance, and then turn down the opacity to make it more realistic. I don't know what you're seeing in your screen, but there's a little bit of shadow there. Okay, um, and I don't know why I can't. Uh, uh, okay, um, not sure why I can't warp it. Maybe I have to take off the. Let me just quickly see if it works. Okay, I guess I have to unlock it to warp it. See that you can. You can pick this up a little bit like this. So, but that's what you have to do. You have to unlock it. So the the mask is independent, and now you can see the shadow better there, right? Okay. So now the rest of the, what I'm going to do is just clean this up here. All right. Um, that's pretty much it on a nutshell. I'm just going to keep cleaning this up. <coughs> 